Hey guys, it's Brandon again with Concealed Nation. Uh, we're back here for a more in-depth look at the Glock 42. You all should know what it is now. It's Glock's 380. We're going to give you a real good look at it here. We haven't had this very long. And, uh, well, I think it's beautiful. It's a small 380. Not as small as you'd think, though. I was surprised at the, uh, the durable feel. And the reason I say that is because any time I've ever picked up one of the 380, um, pocket pistols, so-called pocket pistols, um, they just feel really not that well put together, and I know that they are, uh, like the Ruger LCP, but I don't know, there's just, there's not a lot of bulk there, and I mean, you know, you have a very small pistol, so it's not going to weigh that much, um, but this, it's a Glock, I mean, everybody by now knows that I'm a big supporter of Glock firearms. Um, and it's not even because of that. It's just, it's a very well put together firearm. It's solid. It's light. It's on the light side. Um, we'll get into that with the when we go over the specs. But, and it's thin. Thin. Um, we're going to do some comparisons here real quick just so you can have an idea of the size. I do not have any of the 380s on hand. I apologize for that. But we do have a Glock 27. And there you can see the size comparison right there. And we'll lay We'll lay the uh, 42 right on top of the 27 from the bottom. Whoops. From the bottom to the back there. Okay. So you can see it's quite a bit shorter, and you have a smaller, much smaller grip. It's a small grip. Um, there's no other way to say it. So, there it is with the 27. And we'll go ahead and throw in another one I got here, the Ruger SR9C. Let's see. Move this one out of the way. And there it is next to the Ruger. Ruger looks a little bigger. It has the extended, uh, plate there, the pinky extension, um, also have the laser max laser, so not as bulky as it looks. So it's a it's a pretty good sized 380. Now if we look at width, if I can do this, stand that one up. That's the that's the uh, 42 there. And then we'll put it alongside 27. So you can see the difference there. So, let's get into some specs first. Put this back down. The Glock 42. I'm just going to run down these. Uh, you can find them in the review, but we'll just go over them real quick. Uh, length is 5.94 inches overall. Um, width is 0.94 inches. Height, 4.13 inches. The barrel length is 3 and a quarter inch. The trigger, tr trigger distance, 
2.4 inches. Trigger travel is 0.49 inches. And uh, the line of sight is 4.92 inches. The weight is without the magazine 12.35 ounces which is pretty incredible uh, the magazine weight empty is 1.41 ounces um, so you have about with the magazine uh, the magazine full is 2 2.01 ounce so the pistol with a full magazine you're looking at about 14 ounces but it's I don't want to say beefy but it's beefy <laughs> it feels it feels heavier than it looks when you're holding it it's very comfortable to shoot um, I don't have small hands I don't have big hands but it's comfortable really comfortable um, you don't have any rest for your pinky unless you have really small hands but that never bothered me personally um, but it's it's just a really comfortable feeling comfortable shooting gun one of those guns you could you could shoot all day long and it wouldn't bother you one bit not to mention it's it's a 380 so I took this to the range and put 500 rounds through it in an afternoon. Uh, here's some of the ammo we used. Underwood ammo and some 380 from Freedom Munitions. And the Underwood was, let's see, for Underwood we had 380 plus P 90 grain bonded jacketed hollow point and we also used 102 grain brass jacketed hollow point and for the freedom munitions bear with me we have all, all of these links are up on the site on the review uh, for the 42 but I'll just go go through them right now uh, so for the freedom munitions ammunition we used uh, 380 100 grain uh, regular target ammo which is great by the way both of these both of these companies are excellent um, they're literally the only two that I get ammo from for anything anymore uh, great prices and the whole you get what you pay for doesn't doesn't come into play here um, it's it's inexpensive and for what you get and it's just it's fantastic I, I cannot say enough good things about these two ammo companies at, at the very least check them out see what they have to offer um, okay I don't have a tripod as you can see uh, it broke so I'm holding this camera so bear with me with a second we're gonna take this down and anybody familiar with Glocks knows that knows how to take one down and it's the same thing okay so we're gonna make sure it's clear and it's clear we're gonna point in a safe direction pull the trigger Pull back on the slide just a little bit. Pull the takedown levers down. And off it comes. It's going to be a little dirty. We had some rounds through it. So, as I said in the last uh, video, when we were going through, when we first got it in the door, um, when we took it down, we have the newest generation recoil spring from Glock. Um, much better than the other one, so I never really had a problem with the other ones. But this is just a step up from from the uh, from the previous design. 
And we have the barrel here. And we have, let's see, serial number on the top, 380 Auto, Glock, US made. And again, from before, it's our understanding that Glock had 380 pistols that were only available to law enforcement due to import restrictions because they were made out of the country. Now, if you see here on the slide, what does that say? USA. And because this is manufactured in the US, it's not subject to the import restrictions, so they can now sell them, manufacture and sell to consumers. So that's why we have the Glock 42. So as I said, took this to the range 500 rounds later, right out of the box, I might add, not a single problem and an absolute pleasure to shoot. Um, it was a very cold day, a very cold day. Um, our range didn't have anyone in it for about two weeks because there was a problem with the locks. But I got in and was able to, uh, to fire a whole bunch of rounds off. So it was cold and it was, I mean cold, uh, negative two outside. It was probably, I'd say, 10 degrees inside, maybe 15. Um, so it wasn't pleasant in that regard, but it was a uh, it was a good time. Not a single problem. Very very accurate. Um, I shot a majority of them at 50 feet, and it was it was right on. Um, absolutely no complaints there. So you know what? I really don't know what else to say for this. Uh, for this new firearm. Um, if you are in the market for a 380, if you are, I don't know, a smaller female, um, you know, don't like a lot of recoil, want something that's reliable, if you have small hands, if you want a plinker, this thing is great. Um, the whole caliber debate, what's the best caliber to carry, we, uh, we went over that in an article and it's, it's the caliber that you're proficient with and you're comfortable with. Um, and you know what? I carry a 27, this one right here, every day and I would carry one of these. I really would. Um, is it a pocket pistol? I don't know yet. It'll fit in my pocket, but you know it's uh it's pretty tight. It's not or at least it doesn't seem to be as small as the uh Ruger LCP, I don't believe. Um <clears throat> but I'll get back to you on the pocket pistol aspect of it. Um it will fit in a pocket if you have, you know, if, you're, if your pants, if your jeans are a little, not saggy, but, you know, a little, a little extra play there. Um, I don't have any holsters for this yet. I don't think anyone does. Um, so once I can get my hands on a pocket holster, I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Uh, we'll also be doing in, inside the waistband holster for this. Um, and you know, try it with, with a couple of different ones once once they start getting into production here. So let's put this back together quick. So we're very, very happy we were able to get our hands on this uh, before, uh, before this was out. Very nice of Glock to send it to us. To try it out. Very much appreciate that. And we love it. I mean, love it. Seriously. If you have a range 
that rents firearms and you're on the fence, once this is out, try it. Please try it. I don't care if you are 20 years old, 80 years old, uh, big hands, small hands, it doesn't matter. I think the majority of people are going to have a lot of fun with this gun. A lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that's about it for now. Uh, great little firearm. A little dirty. Didn't clean it yet, but um, it's awesome. Any comments that you guys have, uh, post them. We have, uh, this is going on the website, so we'll have the Facebook comment section right below the article and below this video. Share your thoughts. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you think you're going to pick one up, and, uh, and if you're not going to pick one up, or if you were thinking about it and you decided not to, uh, let us know. We're interested to see. We're, we're really happy that the Glock is is finally in this category. I've been waiting a long time for that and uh, really happy they're there and they put out a really solid, really solid pistol. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this review and you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ccwnation and also find us on our website at concealednation.org.